Hello Church, this is Pastor Steve here with our Monday Minute for September the 27th, 2021. This is the last Monday in the month of September and before the week is out we'll be into the month of October and really into the season of fall. I've got a few reminders to share with you today before our time of devotion and the first one of those is that our rummage sale setup is going on this week every day Monday through the afternoon on Thursday and that will commence with the beginning of the sale on Thursday at 5 o'clock. We're looking for help in sorting and getting the rummage uh, and all of our items ready to go for the sale that's going to be coming up. And we have several time slots that are are available to you throughout this week, both in the morning and during the evening. You can uh, go to our Sign Up Genius through our webpage and uh, get all that information. We'd love to have you out, even if you can give just an hour or uh, two during the week. All of that is helpful. Dr. Dunbar's Lectio Divina class is now weekly on Tuesdays at 1 p.m. and that's offered as a hybrid class both in person and online via Zoom. Our Women Connecting Through Christ has added a second class on Thursdays as 5 o'clock as well as their 7 o'clock class on Thursday so you can check those offerings out if you are interested as well. In addition to all of the other events that are going to be happening here at Newburgh, which can be found on our webpage, going to newburghumc.org forward slash events. Another thing I want to remind you of as we come to today's devotion is this Sunday coming up is World Communion Sunday. That's where we'll be celebrating both here at Newburgh, but with Christians all around the world, regardless of church or denomination, and we do so as a sign of unity that we share together in Jesus Christ. We've designated that first Sunday in October as an opportunity for all of us to gather in around the world, no matter where we are, and celebrate what unites us and not focus on the things that divide us. And so it's important for us as we do that to prepare ourselves in this coming week. One of the things that I think we can do to prepare ourselves is prayer. Prayer is always one of the, those things that is funny with, uh, with Protestants, with Methodists, uh, sometimes I think actually with Christians in general. And it's funny because it's no, we know that it's something that we should do, but especially when we're in a group setting or a gathering of other people, no one seems to know how to do it. And so in instances like that, where I find myself quite a bit, people oftentimes turn to the preacher. At a previous appointment when uh, I was on the church softball team, in addition to my pitching duties, I also had another title of the DP. Now, instead of the DH or designated hitter, I was also the designated prayer. We got a good laugh out of that one. But it came down to the fact that all of us together either wanted to defer to the pastor or really were uncomfortable praying in a group setting. And some of them were just uncomfortable with prayer in general, even though we were in a church softball league. See, we all know that we should pray, but I think people have a difficult time about what to pray for. Sometimes I think people are just confused and they may not think that they're doing it right or assuming that there is a right way or a wrong way to begin with. Other times, I think we, in a sense, we don't want to waste God's time with our seemingly trivial matters. And other times, I think we can be genuinely scared that we might not like the answer that we get. And so we neglect prayer altogether. But in the letter of James, in the fifth chapter, He gives the church a reminder that no matter what the circumstances, we are called to be a praying people. In verse 13, he begins, Are any among you suffering? They should pray. Are any among you cheerful? They should sing songs of praise. Are any among you sick? Call for the elders to pray for them and to anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. He says, Prayer is powerful and effective. I think one of the things that we can remember is that prayer is not just for God. 
It's also for us. Prayer enables us to ask for forgiveness and to forgive. We can celebrate, we can mourn, we can lament. God can take all of it. The Bible is filled with examples of all of these kinds of prayer. And in those examples, we see not only how God responds, but also how the people respond. Sometimes it's just for the lifting of a burden. Others, we give thanks. And in still other times, we need guidance. Sometimes we need healing. And other times, we're also looking for hope. I think that in our society today, that's so riddled by anxiety and tribalism, we as followers of Jesus can do ourselves and the world a great service by taking time for ourselves in prayer. When we do, we can see that God can give us a whole new attitude and a whole new perspective on life and our calling in this world. Pray for ourselves, pray for our community, and we can pray for our world. And in that prayer, above all other things, it can prepare us for being renewed, especially on this upcoming World Communion Sunday. And I think we all can use that time of renewal. So let's approach this new month and this coming week offering up our prayers, however it is that we do them, knowing that there isn't a right way or a wrong way, but that in all ways we can bring ourselves to God. And God will hear us. And when we do that, we can be freed. And we can trust that God will guide us in our steps. So in that spirit, let me close us all now with a word of prayer. Holy God, we know that you are present with us in all things, and in all things, you make yourself known. And so we come to you offering our prayers, however we have them. Prayers of joy, prayers of sorrow, prayers of mourning and concern, prayers for healing, and prayers for hope. In that sense, may we hear your Spirit listening, guiding, renewing and transforming us so that we as your people may go out into the world and share in that message of good news and share in the message of unity that we all have through your Son, Jesus Christ. It is in his name that we pray. Amen. Have a great week, and we will see you all next time for another edition of the Monday Meeting.